CO2 is also a cooling gas. Contrary to the popular belief about greenhouse gases, they do not trap heat. CO2, like all greenhouse gases, just slow down Earth's cooling. More importantly, these gases both absorb and radiate heat energy. In other words, they heat and cool. In 2020, Van Wijngaarden and Happer wrote an article called Dependence of Earth Thermal Radiation on Five Most Abundant Greenhouse Gases. That article reports their findings, that increasing levels of carbon dioxide help cool the North and South Poles during their respective winters. In other words, increases of CO2 at the winter poles is cooling the Earth faster than if no CO2 were available at all. Their article specifically says, the relatively warm greenhouse gas molecules in the atmosphere above the cold surface cause the Earth to radiate more heat to space from the poles than it could without greenhouse gases. This is especially true in the Arctic. The Arctic, in winter, constitutes the Earth's biggest heat sink, in other words, a net energy loss to space. This happens because there is more meridional warm air advection in the Arctic region. This creates a weak inversion over the Arctic surface and subsequent weak downward or greenhouse effect radiation. But during reduced cloud cover and very dry air, meaning almost no water vapor, there is nothing above the CO2 molecules to stop global cooling. Although maximum at the Arctic, this happens at both poles during their winters. It also helps explain why the South Pole is having record cold temperatures. And the Arctic sea ice coverage is at or above the coverage for the past two years. And at the same time, North Greenland glaciers are growing, along with record snowfalls. It is reasonable to conclude that increasing CO2 levels can be expected to cool the polar regions even more. So enjoy our climatic optimum, and remember that a warmer world is safer than a colder world. In the meantime, I'm wishing you clear skies and fair winds.